hello hello hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been a long time but you know i thought you know new year let me make another video and you know what tomorrow's my birthday 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 so i'm gonna do a get ready with me video you know talks with andy vb we're gonna have a little chit chat we're gonna talk and i'm if you have rcma powder you know the package is not the greatest you know situation here i'm turning 20 24 24 and i do not behave or act like a 24 year old um at all sometimes i do i mean i know when to be mature i know when i know when i need to be mature i mean the maturity thing sometimes to come and go it's definitely a hit and miss but you know when it happens it's a pretty great thing um so i'm getting ready tonight because i'm having a meal with my friends we're going out for dinner. Um, nothing too crazy. Cause you know I'm getting old. Okay, so I'm turning 24. My life is still shambolic, but hopefully, you know, um, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be able to turn that shit around. Oh, the pigmentation is fucking popping. Well, goddamn, Shirley. So, um, uh, I keep saying so, um, so, um, whoops. Get your words out then. What have I achieved in these 24 years of life on this beautiful earth that God created for each and every single one of us? Yes. What have I done? Um, I mean, to be honest, there's nothing I can really rave about. What do I have, pl like, I mean, from, from the past, there's nothing that can, I don't know, like, I feel like I've not really achieved that much. And I feel like people my age have. Um... Like, I'm just, I'm waiting. Whoa, why is it so dry? Uh, so I'm, I mean, I'm waiting for my moment. My moment, it's, it's coming. It's definitely coming. I'm just waiting for it to get here. Like, right now. Um, uh, and then future, future, like, aspirations or, like, the future plans for this year. I'd rather not say, like, I don't make any New Year's resolution, resolutions. Resolutions. I don't really make any res resolution. You know what? I don't make them things. Because, like, every time I make a resolution, no, no. The reason I don't know is because, you know, for the past five years, my resolution has been to lose weight, but I'm still a fat bitch. So I was like, you know what, whatever. Whatever, I don't need no resolutions, yeah? Resolu resolution. Resolution, yeah, resolution. Yeah, I don't know why we've been struggling with that word. Um, so, yeah, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I don't need it. So, no, no, the reason why I don't make resolutions is the reason I don't do make goals for the year is because um, I believe that I've got the power to change my path or whatever I'm doing whenever I want. So if I want to start my new year's today, I can start it today. If I want to start in two weeks, in two months, in three, four, whatever, I have the power to do so. Oh yeah, so I feel like this year's going to be a good year because my favourite number is 18 and like when I turned 18... It was one of my favorite years ever. Like I was, I mean, for the first six months, I was so, so, so like happy. I just remember just being so carefree. All I remember when I when I was eighteen is me being happy. Like, so when I feel, oh, what, 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 what was your eighteen? Eighteen? What was your eighteenth year of life like? I'm like, it was fucking brilliant because it was. Like I enjoyed every single part of the first six, six, seven months, eight, eight months. There's like eight months of it. I did. And then you're probably thinking, well, Aunt Evie, what happens? What do you mean the first eight months? Like, what happened the rest of the four months? I went to uni. Like, I went to uni and then, I don't know, like, uni was not for me. As in, like, that, at that time, uni wasn't for me. Um, I didn't like the course I did and I didn't like, I wasn't comfortable. Like, I wasn't comfortable with my own skin as well. So it was hard for me to make new friends and to talk to people but that's a you know what that's a, another like video um because we'll others be here all night and i really don't have time for that and why am i stopping to talk i need to multitask boundaries so um so yeah and then and then i was happy again when i was 19 like so i said 89 so i mean 1819 <coughs> when i dropped out you know i was so happy um and yeah i enjoyed life again once again so yeah, and then my other, like, if I could go back to another age in my life, it would be when I was year nine, I think. So I think 
14. Is that 14 yet, I? Yeah, when I was 14, because I had no issue, like, no responsibilities. I didn't have to think about anything. Like, year nine was a breeze, and I loved it. I just remember funny shit happening in year nine. Like, I think it was the, that was the first time I got drunk. But year nine was jokes. Like, I really wish I could go back and take even more advantage of not having ish responsibilities. I was worried about GCSEs, A levels, all that. It was just a good, good year. Um, that's. Do you know what? I think I like that year so much because that's the year where one of the funniest things ever happened. That's the year. Um, one of my friends was going out with the guy, and he got and he got jumped. <laughs> It's not funny that he got jumped, it's how we handled the whole situation. So we're walking back from a... I don't even know where we're walking back from. Walking back from somewhere. And then these guys stopped to ask um, my friend's boyfriend if he had a lighter. And then, well, like, now nah, we don't smoke. So they kept on walking. Wait, they're walking in front of us, not behind us. I think they were behind us, and then they just kept walking. And so we kept walking, and they were behind us. And then next thing, we hear... <laughs> bam! Well, what? what? These guys came and jumped on, like, um, my friend's boyfriend. And they were punching, and... and it, but it was, like, so un un like, uncalled for. And we were, like, said 14 at the time. It was just so uncalled for. They were, like, proper hitting into him. And then me and my friend were like screaming like what the hell and I, you know what at 14 i was not like i was not trying to get killed i thought i was gonna die and like, I, I didn't know what these guys were like were what, what they were thinking or planning to do next like why were they jumping him and just like were they gonna come to like us after so i just turned up and i was like run and you know what if we, we both ran we did i ran too but then midway through my run i felt guilty and i was like for fuck's sake i can't just leave him so i turned around and then um, i was about to go back and i was like shout i was like, i'm gonna call the police because you know i wasn't about to raise no hands at no one because i'm not a fighter so i was like now i'm gonna call the police <laughs> so they, anyway, they ended up running off and i turned around to my friend i'm like yo she was gone. I didn't even have time to say her name because I was like, yeah, I'll shout. I was like, yeah, shouting her name down the street. I was like, they're good. Your your man's on the floor, Hick. Well, your man, your boy's on the floor. Whenever I see this girl, we all always laugh about that because it was just so funny. Like, I'm not good at telling stories, so it's not like, um, it's not as funny as it should be. Like, it was so. I mean, I mean, the, the, after the shock wore off, we had we were laughing for time at the fact that this had just happened. Um, so yeah, it was, carry on. That, um, yeah, we were just laughing and it was one of the funniest experiences of my, at the time, of my 14 years of living. Honestly and truly. And it's crazy to think that that happened like 10 years ago. 10 years ago, like. Hey, why am I? I'm actually like, I'm feeling like an auntie right now. I've got the body to match it anyway, so you know, I'm nearly there. Nearly there. I'm excited. I'm excited. Do you know what? I'm more excited for my sister's birthday than my own birthday. Like, I love that me and my sister, I mean, we're six years apart, but I love that we're, um, I love that we're, our birthdays are only four days apart. Nice. I think I that's just <laughs> She just came in to say she loves it too. But yeah, I just love that. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. So I always do the same colour look. So I'm trying to switch it up, but I don't want to switch it up too much. Okay, let's should we go for the bronze. Should we go for the bronze? Let's say what the bronze is saying, shall we? Shall we? Let's have a look see. Get na 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 I need you. When I say potential, I just gonna say true. Hey, you heard.
heard about the good news? Y'all sleeping on me, huh? Had a good snooze? Wake up, nigga, wake up. We about to get this paper. Considering the amount of palettes I actually have, I feel like I always use the same colors all the time. Like, even this is not my palette I'm using today, but I'm, I feel like the eye look is pretty much the same eye look I do every single motherfucking time. I said that, do you know what? I'll say I've not accomplished, accomplished a lot in my 24 years in this year. And that's not fair to me. That's not fair to me at all. Like, come on, V. You must have done something. Like, something. Um, and I guess, I guess, do you know what, one of the things that I'm glad I've done quite a bit of is travel. I've not travelled a lot, but I've travelled, like, I've seen places, and I was lucky enough to have a beautiful mother who took me to some of those places. Um, so I was, so let's see, where have I been? I was born in Zimbabwe, so that doesn't count because that's my home. Can y'all see the flag? I can't really see it properly, but... Boys up with Zimbabwe. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I was blessed enough <clears throat> to get to travel. So, the first place I ever went to was... So, I, obviously, I moved to England. And the first place I ever went to was... Um, I went to Paris. And I went to Paris twice. I went... Twice in one month, actually. So I was in Disneyland twice in one month. So I've not actually been to... Like, I've not seen the Eiffel Tower, but I've been to Paris. So, don't come for me, yeah? Um, I went to... First time I went was with my family. So it was me, my mum, my brothers and my sister. And then the second time I went, which was like at the end of the month, was with high school. And so that was Paris. And then where else have I been? And then after that, so a few years later, I went to... I went on a cruise with... Um, my mum, again, my mum, my brothers, my sister, and that was lit, so when we were on the cruise, we went to Gibraltar, um, Sicily, I think, do you know what, I should have, like, written this down, because I can't actually remember, I think it was Sicily. Sicily? We've not been to Sicily. We went to, what's the foot thing we went to? What? We went to two parts of Italy. Yeah. Where? Should, should I tell you where we went? Where? <coughs> Pisa. Pisa. Yeah. It went to Florence. And Florence, that's it. No, but did the boat stop somewhere else? No, I didn't go to Sicily. Anymore. Do you know what? I'm getting, I'm getting mixed up where I went and the Dean geography that I got. Right, where else did we go? So I went to Pisa, Florence. I went to, went to Nice. Is it Nice or Nice? I say Nice. Nice, Nice. And I went to Barcelona, Lisbon. Lisbon. Portugal. That's, that's in Lisbon. Yeah. Hey! Go, my guy. Um, yeah. Oh, I went to Madrid. Did you go to Madrid? No. Get out, please. Um, so, I color corrected before I primed. I don't even know where the video stopped because my video just stopped. I don't know. There's a setting on my camera. I don't have to change it. I mean, I haven't tried, so it is what it is. It stops after every couple of minutes. That was like the last holiday that we all have been, like, I've been with my brothers and my Valerie. Ah! The last I've been with my brothers and my uh, my mom, and even my sister. Like the, as a family, that's the last holiday we went to. So that was ten years ago. Like that's that's crazy. That's too fucking crazy. So I'm gonna color color correct again. So yeah, that was ten ten blood clot years ago. Me can't believe it. Me can't believe it. So I really wanna. So I'm excited for this year because we are going on a family holiday together this year. Oh, I've got so many like blemishes and like my scars look. I'm, I've started using um. This is what I mean, but what was I telling you about? Now, now I've changed. Let me just tell you this. So yeah, I've started using African black soap, and my skin is like I'm like a massive breakout before it. You know, it's having like a purge is what it's called. So anyway, yeah. Um. So yeah, those last big holiday went on too, and then so on my own as an adult. As the adults, that's how, well, I mean, we've been to we went to Zimbabwe and stuff, but as an adult, where where have I been, eh? Where have you been as your in your adult life, Valerie? I've been to, like I said, 19 was another good year for me, and that's because it, I went to the Philippines, and it was amazing. So I've been to the Philippines, and I want to go again. I'm just waiting for one of my Filipino friends to invite me again because, you know, you, I feel like you get to see more if you would go with someone who's from that place. 
and he speaks the language. Because that would have been ripped off a lot. Um, actually, wait, before that, I went to uh, Nepal and New Delhi. Um, well, I went to Kathmandu, Nepal, and then I went to New Delhi in India. And that was with, it was like, I finished high school and it was like a volunteer thing. And that was amazing. That's another country I'd love to go back to. And I'd love to do the volunteer work in it. Because it was just, it was just so rewarding. Like, it was one of the best holidays I've ever been on. Um, so that's another thing I'd love to do again. And, and then, what else? What else? What was I talking about? So yeah, Philippines was in 2014. Uh, so yeah, India was in 2016. No, it wasn't. 2010. Philippines was 2014. 2015, I went to. I went to America. Well, I went to mainly Boston for well, ma well mainly the state ma Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Ma I'm hoping I'm saying that right. <coughs> so because I got family there, so I went there for five weeks. I've been to New York, but it was only for a day, so to me, it doesn't really count. I need to do that again. Like, for show, for show. Um, and then I went to Tenerife that year. That was just a last minute trip. Uh, I, I didn't know I was going until like the week before, basically. Um, someone couldn't go, and I was covering for the friends. So I was like, okay, I'll go. And I remember ringing in sick to work. Like, Actually no, working messed up my rotor and I was I pissed off about it anyway. So I was like, and I said to him, I was like, I'm not coming in because I don't want to work. I don't know, I was, just, I was angry about something. So I ended up not going in anyway. And to be honest, they didn't even notice. So I, I felt, I felt loved. I really felt, you know, I felt like where there was a, something special in, 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 in that. So yeah, I mean, at least I didn't get fired. Um, so I mean, that's, that's a bonus right there. <laughs> and then, hmm. so then, and then I went to Coachella, and it was lit. It was so good, like expensive as fuck, cause um, a bitch was broke, broke. But it was so good, and if if I'm financially stable to be able to do that again, I would definitely do it. But it was just so expensive. Um, the ticket, the accommodation. But me and my cousin walked past Race Murder. Race Murder? Race Murder? Um, um, and so, you know, I guess it was worth it. It really, no, it, it was worth it. Even, even, even if we hadn't met them, it still would have been worth it. The whole trip, like I said, was lit. Lit, lit, lit. Um, and so, so I went to. California. So where did I go? Went to Coachella was in Palms. Was it in Palm Spring? No, it wasn't. Do you know what? Let me let me let me just. I went to LA basically. LA and I went to <coughs> Hollywood, and then I went to. So this is all on the same trip. So after Coachella, I went to um, cause I went to cousin. I was gonna say I went to cousin. I went to. Oh, what's my other found it? Ah! I knew you wouldn't let me down. So after that, I went to Mexico, went to Can Cancun, and then after that, I met one of my other good friends. Um, so my cousin went back to Boston because I want my cousin from Boston and her friends. So my cousin went to bo back to Boston, and my friend flew over from England to Miami, and we spent a week in Miami, and that was fucking lit too. So shout out to you, Sarah, for doing that because I was like, if I'm like, in America already, like near Miami, I want to go to Miami. And she pulled through. She really pulled through. So we went to Miami for a week, and it was lit. Like I remember, we was we were like, oh, we're not gonna go out that much. We're gonna go out for like two nights just because it's so because it is expensive. Like that whole trip. I don't know how I afforded that. But then again, I was working a lot at the time. Um, so we're like, oh, we're only gonna go out for two nights because you know it's expensive out here when I do that. Anyway, the first night, the night nearly died. That's another story as well. But the first night we went to, we posted, we took a picture, posted on Instagram, and um, I would say I put a post on Instagram, thought nothing off it. The next day, I get a message and on Instagram, and this guy's like, "Oh, are you guys in Miami?" And he was like, oh, "I'm a club promoter, um, and I would love it if you guys, if you girls, um." 
could come and join my table and like one of the tables they host like for ladies and I was like um well what's included in this little club to yarn about it was free entry free drinks all night and I was <laughs> but the club was called dream I think it was so I was like you know what fuck it Let's do it, book it. So um, I gave him my number and he, so he was WhatsApping me and we met him outside the club and yeah, we got free entry, free drinks for the whole week, yeah? That one night of going, I thought we just going to go out for one night, ended up being every, every single night we were going out and every single night was fucking lit, right? So every night was lit. I can't even complain and say there was a night where I didn't really enjoy myself. Every night I enjoyed myself. And again, I want to get a bunch of people and go back to Miami. So if any of my friends are watching this and you're going to be fully committed, before you all start popping out babies and having responsibilities, can we please go to M-I-A? Woo, M-I. I, I could have stopped Miami then. Um, so what was I even talking about? Timekeeping, yeah? Do you know what? I don't know what I was talking about before, but let's just say timekeeping. That's something that as a 24-year-old in the next five hours, sh I should have that, like, shit in check. Why? Why are you always late? Why, Valerie? Huh? Why? I went to Copenhagen for a day. Does that count? I mean, it was a, a full day. Like, stayed over and everything. Like, I went through towns and I bought some... Churros, which was so good. Um, so it counts. I went to do Copenhagen. That was 2017, and I went there because my brother got me and my sister a Christmas present to go see Drake in Copenhagen. Shout out to you, Broski. Shout out to you. And it was one of the best trips ever. Yeah, ever. When me and my sister together, it's always fucking lit. It that was nothing lit. So it was so good. Uh, we we ended up meeting um we ended up meeting a guy. He was I think he was sat near us. Uh, so we met him and and it was lit because he took us to this club. I can't remember what it was called, but it was lit. Yeah, like, I keep saying it was lit because it was Panama. Panama. Dave knows, Dave knows. So I went to pa Yo, Dave just does ad, ad libs like all the time. Like she keeps walking in and she's like, nah, it was this, nah, it was that. No, but Panama was lit. So, yeah, it was called Panama, and the guy's called Tag, I can't, Tago, Tago, I can't remember. But I'm going to put his, he's got a song out, and I'm going to put his link to the song in the description box. Go and check it out. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Where are you, mates? Uh, so then I went to Ibiza, yeah. So my cousin, the one I went, who lives in the States, the one I went to, oh, no, 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 Valerie, Valerie, Valerie. Yeah, the other one I went to uh, Coachella with. She really wants to go to Ibiza, or as you Americans say, Ibiza. I want to go to Ibiza. I took a pee on Ibiza. So, um, she wanted to go. And, like, Ibiza's never been anywhere that I've ever wanted to actually, like, it's never been like, oh, it's on my list to go. Like, Japan is somewhere I really want to go. But I've never thought of Ibiza as somewhere I to go. But I loved it. I did. I can't even lie. I really liked it. And... Even though some the music, sometimes the music was just a bit too much. Like, I like some dance songs. When I say some, I mean like maybe about three. Maybe more than three. I'm just being a bit dramatic there. But it gets to a point sometimes where you're like, whoa. Just give me a bit of Afro beats, a bit of dance hall. Let me just wind my waist because I'm going to pop my hip out of the socket in a minute. Or this. <laughs> Know what I mean? It gets, it just gets too much. So then this year, I need like other trips. I'm going to one place in my family, but I need some other places to go to. Like I'm, I need, you know, I need like, cause I went to South Africa with my family, but I want to go somewhere else. Like one place is just. Oh, actually, what's that? Oh, I've been to South Africa as well. So I've been to South Africa before. I mean, um, my auntie lives there, so I went there. Before, um, and it was good. It was good to see my grandparents. And and then when I went, so that was 2016. So when I went there, I went to Zimbabwe as well. And that was the first time I've been back in like 10 years. So it was good to see my hometown, you know. Good to see my home. Good to see my people. 
to, you know, to come on. I, I want to go to Fresh Island. I'm trying to talk David to go in and say it, but the thing with Fresh Island is when it's like we get back from South Africa and then it's like get straight back onto a plane to go to Croatia. But I really want to go because I feel like next year I'm going to be 25 and I'm going to be too old to be hanging out because I feel like everyone's young at, the, at these little festivals. Just do it this so year. I really want to do it this year. So once again, friends, yeah. Look, I'm, I'm I'm shouting friends like I got like my friends even watch this. Like my friends could could just be you know these little fake eighties not even watching nothing. You're all liars, ain't you? But um, but yeah. Hopefully I can go this year. So let's see what else can we talk. Do you know what? Right, doing makeup while I'm talking to the camera is makes it feel like I'm going really quick when I'm not. Like, if I talk, this RC my pattern needs to fucking chill out. So, the final thing we're gonna talk about before my ass needs to get shit into gear and get dressed is my cousin rang me yesterday. Okay? My cousin is six years old, me. Tell the music off for this because it's serious shit. And he was like, so I mean, the conversation was calm. We're just talking about, like, we're gonna plan this family thing because my grandparents are over. Talking about that. And then he comes out with, oh no wait, and then I, and then I start talking about Birmingham, like going to Birmingham. Yeah. And then he's, <laughs> wait, <laughs> David's responding for all of you. And then he's like, I'm worried about you. And I was like, huh? Uh-huh. He's like, what? and I was like, wait, what? I was like, why are you worried about me? And I was thinking, shit, what, like, what have I done? Like, what, like, you must know something that I clearly don't know. And he was like, why have you never bought a guy home? Why, why are you not in a relationship? <laughs> what is that like, huh? He but he was there like no, I was like yeah, I'm getting worried like why are you still single? And I was just like rah, cause can you can you just let me turn 25 please in peace? I'm happy being on my own. Like oh, I don't know about Rihanna and Gosses over there. Oh. And he was like, I give you until the end of this year. Um, so I was like, oh, so there's a time limit <coughs> for, for this shit. So he's basically giving me to the end of this year for me to get a man. So guys, send your CVs. Uh, I'll put my email in the description box. Thanks. Appreciate you. Peace. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> like I said, it doesn't really, it doesn't really like affect me. Like, it didn't really hurt or anything. But I'd literally just come up with my period when he said it. And I was just like... Well, damn. I just sat there in silence. I was looking in the distance like... Is this it? Is this my life? Am I gonna be single like forever? That's legit what I was thinking. Because he said that, he was worried about me. Then I started getting worried about myself. No, I don't have a boyfriend and I don't plan on getting one. And this is like another, another video where the like it's just too long for me to talk about but there's there's other reasons why um I've, I've not been in a relationship or tried to get in a relationship but like i said it's it's way too deep for me right now to even trying to get into it and i don't want to get into it so <laughs> just telling people i'm going to be late and you know that i know i'm going to be 24 but once again i'm still going to be late because that's the kind of person i am and hopefully it's going to change but right now this is what you get yeah this vv is the vv that's here to stay no it's not here to stay and it's changed myself yeah and stop procrastinating and to you know grow the f i'm trying not to swear um on the channel at least because you know swearing's bad you're a lady you're a fucking lady oh my god yeah that failed real quick mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I really feel like I'm gonna end this video here. Oh, I need to put lashes on. I'm not contoured! Do you know what, right? Don't you think there's just a lot of crazy shit going on in this world? Like, I am not the judgmental, like, you You can be gay, you can be straight, you can be bi, you can be transsexual, I don't care. But, this whole gender thing, this whole, I'm gonna give my baby X, X? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, my, my baby's gonna be genderless. Is that yeah, yeah? Is that yay? 
people just trying to be so extra, like, so extra. And it's like, come on now. Give it a break, lads. Give it a break. Have a Kit Kat. I always think people are joking, but they're not. They're actually being, like, serious about this. And they take it to heart. And I think on Twitter the other day, I saw um, a video of a woman. And I can't remember what news show she was on. But she was basically um, saying that when people say ladies first, that's offensive. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? What is it? Look at it! Look at the strength! Who knows that video? Because that's fucking hilarious. I might cut my bit out. That was a bit too much. It took out but people let's 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 try not to get as offended as we we do because like you're all getting offended about every little thing take a fucking chill pill mate and i don't mean take drugs that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying just chill the fuck out have have a have a shot yeah a shot do you know what actually i don't even have a shot don't use alcohol as your chillness just woo sigh in that bitch. Woo sigh in that bitch. Oh, my spots, yeah? Like, why couldn't you just go and have a holiday? Huh? In January, could you, why couldn't you just leave me alone? Like, you're just doing the most. Julie, Julie, what are you? David, you nearly finished. Do you know when you start just rushing and you forget things, yeah? Where, where, where's this nose going? Where, where's... Where do you think you're going? Oh no. Julie. Julie, what you doing? Do you know what? Sometimes I forget that I'm recording and that, you know, I need to try and like saying, but then again, it's my channel. If you don't like it, you don't. So I said I was going before, but I'm still here, you know, um, because I just figured I'm late anyway. So. Bitch, is that your friend? Yeah. Yeah, it is. What are you trying to say? I'm just trying to say what's going on. <coughs> are you running out, mate? Like, come on, not on my birthday. eBay hooked your girl up. Once again, I might even fast forward this part because I know how stressful it is for me to put lashes on. Um, it's stress that I don't need. I don't think that I deserve this kind of stress. I wish that someone could just... I just wish I was good at it. There's people just like, and they do it straight away. But me, not in this lifetime. Time is 6.50. <coughs> the table is booked for 7 o'clock. Are you on? Check one, two, check one, two. Are you on, are you on? Hey. And lashes, yeah. If you guys don't want to send me a present or something, Send me JD. JD, sponsor me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 66 subscribers and I'm fucking happy about that because the other day I thought I only had 62. When I saw that 66, I was like, bitch, got wet. What's up? So fly like a laden. I stood up. So five of fucking slow mo bitches. Step up in this bitch like. I'm the one you bitch like. Do you know what, yeah? I'm late. Yeah, here I am doing slow-mo, slow-mo, slow-mo like I'm Beyonce or something.